Hey, what's going on? It's Stranger, and welcome to another YouTube music production video where my mission is to help you succeed at making music. And today's video is my most requested topic by you guys. We're going to be doing 90s ambient jungle, also known as intelligent or atmospheric drum and bass. Now this style was super popular in the 90s and it preceded liquid drum and bass and was pioneered by artists such as LTJ Bookham, Blame, Pache, Big Bud, and many more. And labels such as Good Looking Records were instrumental to the sound. But comment down below and let me know what is your favorite 90s atmospheric jungle track. By the way, today's video is sponsored by DistroKid, but more on this later. So ambient jungle is characterized by those chopped up breaks and usually an 808 or guitar bass line. And then it's layered with deep pads, sometimes jazz samples such as trumpets and saxophones. Oftentimes you'll also find diva or jazzy vocals on top as well. And hey, it'd be awesome if you can hit the like button, subscribe and share. All that helps my channel grow. All right, without further ado, let's get right into it. All right, to start, we're setting the tempo at 163 beats per minute. Now, this tempo is popular in the 90s, and it's coming back again. And this slower tempo allows for the drums to groove a little bit more. So I brought in the Hot Pants Break, which is a popular break for this style of drum and bass. And here's the regular pattern. So let's sequence this beat a little. I'm gonna make a two bar loop and we're gonna go for a bouncy kind of rhythm like that boom, ka, boom, boom, ka. Let's add a double snare here. All right, so we have the break. All right, next up is an 808 bass sound. Now I'm creating the 808 using Ableton's wave table. I'm simply using a sine wave. And all you have to do is apply some amplitude modulation. And I have shown you guys in the previous video. So do check that out if you want to learn how to make 808. Simply I have a decay on my sine wave. And a lot of the baseline rhythms and ambient jungle is influenced by jazz. So you hear a lot of it from legends such as Miles Davis and John Coltrane. So check out those artists if you want to integrate those rhythms with your music. Now I'm writing my song in G minor. And here's a tip to write these jungle bass lines. All you have to do is play around the keys of the first minor triad. So I folded my keyboard to only show the three notes of the G minor triad. So let's write a bass line using these notes. And now I'm gonna unfold and add an off note from the triad. And then let's shift this note one octave up. So today's video is sponsored by DistroKid, which is an awesome platform to get your music out to all your favorite platforms, including Apple Music, Spotify, and Beatport. And they have a new feature called Teams, which allows you to add collaborators for any of your tracks. This makes it really easy to split your percentages and pay your collaborators immediately. And if your collaborator doesn't have a DistroKid account, they can sign up for just 10 bucks. Also as a bonus, if you sign up to DistroKid using my link below, you'll get 7% off the first year. So I know you guys are really into collaboration. So this is a good way to get your tracks up and also get paid. So go on over to DistroKid and check them out. And then to give it that spacey vibe, we need some pads. Now I designed this pad sound with wavetable using the same concepts that I've taught you guys in the liquid pads tutorial. So check that out in the link below. And 
I simply added a chorus to thicken it up. And then I drowned it out with reverb to make it super spacey. Now here's that G minor triad again. And then I'm going to stack an additional note to the chord called the seventh. And then let's duplicate this and then shift this up to an A. Now at this point, I was stuck with this composition. It didn't really sound like full 90s ambient jungle, so I didn't think it was gonna get anywhere. And that all changed when I called up my friend Andrew Henderson, also known as Fringe. He's an old friend of mine and a great producer, and you can check out his music in the link below. So Andrew sent me this obscure pad sample that was used back in the 90s. And once I added this sound into the track, Everything came together and it started to sound like a 90s ambient jungle track. Now here's the pad sample that Andrew sent me. Notice the nice textures in the pad sample. Now this might not sound like much, but once you add a bit of release and drown it with reverb, it all comes together. So I wrote this melody with the pad. I'm feeling nostalgic already. Now, once I got that sample, everything came together. I got this boost of creativity and I knew exactly what else to do to this track. And sometimes that happens. All you need is one sound or sample, which sends you off this tipping point and you get this burst of creativity. So the next sound I added naturally was a wah-wah guitar, which is used iconically in this style of drum and bass. I just drowned it with delay. <laughs> Notice how that Wawa guitar really takes us back to that 90s atmospheric jungle sound. The next logical step was to add some delayed saxophone and trumpet samples that we can use as a call and a response to that wah-wah guitar sound. So I found a sax stab and simply playing two notes here. And to create a delay effect, we're gonna be manually drawing note delays. So simply duplicate those notes and then bring the velocity down like that. And I have a trumpet stab sound here. And once again, duplicate it a number of times and then automate the velocity to create a manual delay. Now I grouped the two tracks together and I added a reverb send effect. Doesn't it give you that kind of cool spooky vibe? Then for some extra nostalgia, I find some diva house vocals. Ooh, ooh, yeah, yeah. Again, let's drown that with echo and reverb. Ooh, 
Another sound that's used often are bongos and congas, and you can add delay and reverb to these sounds. So here's a set of bongos. So I'm just playing these two notes together like that. And there's these two here. And then with some effects. And finally, I added the tambourine to help with the rhythm of the drums. Okay, let's hear it all together. Now I arranged the song a little bit and oftentimes during the breakdown the song introduces a new theme. So I found this Rhodes sample on Splice. And simply using the first chord. So I'm gonna use a ping pong loop here so that when it reaches the end it's gonna play in reverse. And then I'm just playing two notes. Notice those bird sound effects in the background of the sample. Adds a bit more to that ambient vibe. And then for the second drop, to change it up a little bit, I added an Amen break. I also changed up some of the notes of the bass line. Okay, so I arranged the song a little bit here, so let's check it out.
All right, so that was my take on 90s ambient jungle. And as a checklist, the essential sounds is a nice break beat, an 808 bass, and a pad sound. And once you have those down, then you're gonna want a wah-wah guitar sample, some trumpet or saxophone stabs, as well as a diva vocal sample with lots of reverb and delay. And once you have those down, you could also add some echoed up bongos, some tambourines, as well as a Rhodes sample to introduce a change up in the track. So I hope you guys enjoyed this process and hopefully you learned something to add to your own creative style. 90s ambient jungle is definitely a style that was very influential, especially to me during the early days. So I hope you guys enjoyed watching this process. And if you enjoyed this video and you wanna see more videos like this, then make sure you hit the like, subscribe, and share buttons. All right, that's pretty much it for today, guys. Thanks for watching. Keep practicing, and I'll see you at the next video. By the way, if you want to support me, you can grab my jungle production kit. Also, my liquid production kit just came out, and you can all grab it down on the link below.